What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a lot of stuff to talk about. We're going to go break down every single class and all the best builds in each class. So today's video is going to be Sork. This is going to be the class that I'm playing. I'm going to give you the top five builds. I really should just do three, but I'm going to give you the best five, top five, five plus five is five, 10, 15, the best builds that the Sork can run in season four. Now, again, guys, this is just a best guess. This is just from all the information myself, my community, the discords, other creators have kind of gathered all the intel. And this is our best guess until we can really get in there and do that. So don't be too bad butchering me down in the comments. You guys are gonna let me know which, which ones just should be added or different or another. So. These are in no particular order from S, A, B, etc. These are just going to be the top five. I am going to do S and A, just meaning the better builds and the ones that are less. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So starting off in S tier, you have Frozen Orb. Although Frozen Orb did suffer a small nerf with the amulet and the infinite kind of loop that you can do with the conjurations, spawning Frozen Orbs into another conjuration and then it just keeps going in circles now that it is required to cast the build is still going to be super strong because your mana like being able to have your mana up at all the time like your mana resource is just going to be super high so you're going to be able to just spam these infinitely uh so you're not going to be worried too much about it it just kind of it does suffer just a slight damage nerf however i really do believe that this build is going to be one of the top ones among um, Sorks in season four. The build is just too fun. It's way different. All the conjurations, which are considered like your pets or companions, they get the 100% increased um, bonus stats from your character onto the conjurations, which is just absolutely fantastic. So this build is going to be one of the best ones that you can run in season four. Next, we do have ball lightning. I'm putting ball lightning up here. Ball lightning is still going to be super, super good. Okay, I know that it did suffer a little bit of damage or like a nerf, but then it got a slight damage, like buff, like five or 10% damage. Uh, but the fact that you can summon so many of these and it's just consistent damage, like overall combined with Raymond's and you're just teleporting and pulling everything in, the build is still incredibly powerful. So it's just not one of the highest damage dealers out there, but the build is still really, really good for those who really enjoyed it back in season two, like I did. The build is just fantastic it's it's gonna play exactly the same nothing's really changing with that however the build could be slightly better with all the um crafting that we're gonna be able to do with ball lightning so i think there's a little bit of room for innovation here to make ball lightning just be just a little bit better than it was in season three all right next we're gonna go with blizzard okay i'm putting blizzard just slightly below these blizzard is gonna be super strong it always is um, the fact that you got all the ice spikes blizzard itself isn't doing damage So you don't have to invest the extra points in the skill tree. You can put those other places Now with all the tempering manuals and manuals and you're gonna be able to increase the size Even though it's capped you're gonna be able to do increased damage with the spikes I just find that the build is just gonna be super super satisfying and it's already super strong You're really tanky in this build because you just drop these and move so uh, blizzard is still gonna be high up on the list now, don't forget that I, I do have in here Meteors. Meteors is going to be... Meteors is basically right here. I personally like it here at A because I'm just I'm a little biased towards it. But it is really good. I'm going to leave it in A, but it could be down here in B. Uh, Meteors is super strong. The one big issue with Meteors is that unless you're able to get Ice Blades on a particular attack speed range so that way it's always hitting to help reset your cooldowns um meteors really does suffer because you do have to wait because if you're wearing the starfall coronet you do get two charges of it but then you have to wait for it to cool down in order to throw another meteor which kind of sucks but that's where ice blades comes in however you are required to get a six second meteor or maybe eight seconds at the maximum um starfall coronet so uh, Meteors is super, super strong. The AOE is fantastic. The other big issue that I find with a lot of people talking about Meteor is the fact that how long it takes for the Meteors themselves to actually be called down to like hit the enemy, which is kind of weird because it, it plays very similar to Blizzard. 
Like Blizzard is just summoning and then it's just instantly hitting. I, I'm not really sure why there isn't a correlation here for the devs to be like, well, when you summon, the Blizzard goes up, the Meteors goes up, but Blizzard falls faster than Meteor just naturally. So I don't know why that is in there. There is a node where you can increase the drop speed of these, but then you lose out on the immobilized node, which is just way better because you immobilize the targets and do even more damage. So I don't know. I really like Meteor. It's probably going to be one of the builds that I play the most in season four, but I'm going to have it there. Next is, this is just going to be the icon, okay? This is going to be up here in the higher tiers. This is the Frosty build that I talked about the other day on my Twitter, where you can just kind of see the build, and it just absolutely, this one right here, the Frosty, where you're just, you're just destroying stuff. You basically have the infinite teleport again, but every single time you teleport, it's almost like a Frost Nova that's destroying the board which is super good. So this build is just fantastic. Frosty Nova, we get the instant teleport. Two button build. You let the evade with the teleport do all the damage with remnants. It's a new build with a brand new manual or power from season four um, that was discovered in the PTR. So I think this build is gonna be very, very strong. Uh, there's not really too much else to say about the build. It's just gonna be, if you wanna play a very, very fast Sork, do a lot of damage the one thing with this build that i will say is that it doesn't suffer too hard against bosses because you're hitting for like 40 million at a time here you can see that even against the boss it's super super strong you know you go through you're able to get the uh stagger very very easily on a boss and it just does a crap ton of damage i mean 40 million pops 42 million 44 million so you're not going to have any issues with bosses. You're not necessarily going to be like one shotting them, but you're going to be able to kill them very, very quickly. So these are going to be the top five builds that I have for you guys for Sork. I want you guys to like the video. Let's see if we can get this thing to 50 plus likes. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys think that this is should be different. If there's a build I'm missing, um, there is some very good honorable mentions. Firewall is going to be your leveling build here. Um, for those that are interested in like playing a Sork, um, leveling with this is super good. Ice shards is super good for leveling. Uh, chain lightning can block combined with, uh, the brand new buffed and hydras is good. Arc lash is also very good for leveling. Um, outside of that guys, there's not too much left, um, that I would consider in the top five. Obviously there's other builds Incinerate got a big buff. Then you got the firewall thing with firebolt. You do have Bouncy Bouncy Fireball, which is is pretty good. But outside of that, the build is just it's just different. Um, I think I still think that Bouncy Bouncy Fireball is probably going to be one of the best farmers still in the game. But yeah, these are the builds, guys. Like the video. Comment down below again. Tell me what you think. And as always, stay gaming. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. Do it again. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.